being a mom is having to be a better person than you were before. Now you have someone that is looking at what you do. They're watching you. So being a mom is probably one of the most amazing and difficult things that um, I have ever experienced in my life. Pretty much, um, those two words sound opposite, but it's true. Being a mom is amazing, but it is difficult. Amazing in the sense that I get to bring two lives, in my case, into the world, two boys, um, and pretty much bring them up or teach them and inspire them and protect them, nurture them, take care of them, and um, pretty much have that unconditional love from them to me. Six months into our marriage, I got pregnant. So then it was, you know, the whole pregnancy symptoms and everything like that, making sure. And then when she was born, you know, my husband was a great help. I, I, I can't say I had a hardship as far as trying to balance both of them. You know, I, I was trying to be super mom and super wife. And that's not true. <laughs> you can't do that. Um, you need help. There's a lot that goes into being a mom. Um, so, of course, there's hard times, hard moments. Um, I would say that probably balancing time is the most difficult thing to get a handle on. It takes practice, it takes time, and it's always going to be a system of checks and balances. Like, I have to make sure that before anything else that I'm okay, my health is okay, that I'm giving myself the time I need, which is not always easy when you have two babies and the husband, um, and also that my relationship with my husband is, is being nurtured and taken care of and that I'm not neglecting him or our relationship. It's very mentally um, tiring. With the kids, you have to make sure, like, for example, on Sundays, that everything's ready for Monday, for the daycare, for the babysitter, um, with, um, with your partner, or, you know, with Junior, you have to make sure that work clothes are clean for the next day. She wants to know every what Catalina is doing every single minute, every single second. Uh, she's texting me, asking how she's doing, she, or whoever has her, she's texting them, just seeing her play with her and taking care of her. You can see the love and, and the care she has for her. And even for the baby that's on the way too, it, you can see how she holds her stomach, how she protects her stomach. She just worries about everything just because she loves both kids so much. No matter how long her day is, she always has time and energy for her kids when she comes back from work after 12 hours out of the house. She has time to read them a bedtime story, to bathe them, to feed them. She thinks about all the things that us guys wouldn't normally think about uh, whenever I uh, anticipate to do something, she already, she already takes care of it. And you know, and seeing all this that she does, and all the hard work she puts into taking care of us, it really makes you want to appreciate her more. Uh, I love her more for that. Motherhood is a 24-7 uh, job, it doesn't stop. She makes a lot of sacrifices, and I uh, try to be the best husband to help her, help each other, 
to raise these two boys to be the best that they can be. I always saw myself becoming a mom, but I didn't see myself having a girl first. I saw myself having a boy. And then when I found out I was having a girl, I was really excited because um, I have two nephews already. But being a girl mom, you know, my my way of being, I'm not into like fashion or um, style or anything like that. I'm just like, I put on sweatpants and I go. Well, having a girl, it's been so much fun. I have a friend who has two boys and I asked him, what's it like to have two boys? And he said, uh, how can I put this? It's like having a blender without a top. So, you already know. <laughs> So this was my wedding day. Very, very important day. Uh, definitely didn't picture all the blessings that I was gonna have this day. It was probably the most life-changing day after becoming a mom, just because um, it was a day that I decided that I was going to unite my life to the, the man that I love. and. Honestly, at this point in time, I, I hadn't even thought too much about um, motherhood yet. I, I wasn't even 100% sure at the moment. I, I just knew that I was in love and I wanted to spend my entire life with my husband. Did I always picture myself becoming a mom? At some point in my life, no. I'm going to say no. Um, I wasn't one of those people that um, always, even when they're teenagers, think about, I'm going to have three or four kids. No, not me. But here I am. Doing it all is really knowing you can't do it all and being able to ask for help, which is a hard thing when you have big pride. Definitely organization. It's the most important thing. I have to write everything down. Um, I have to have a, um, a schedule for everything. If not, it doesn't get done. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because in my own human strength, I probably won't be able to do it. It all sources from just trusting God and asking Him to lead.